afternoon, I am Michael Bain of Bain Contracting. We are a full service building and remodeling company. And behind me is the famed Van Loking Bridge with the flag blowing. You can see it's a bluebird sky. Um, we're very excited uh, to be here today and to, uh, to get started on a, uh, a very effective home from Superstorm Sandy, which happened back in early November 2012. Um, and in front of me here uh, is going to be a home that we uh, we're going to be lifting tomorrow, and uh, today being Monday, tomorrow going in the air, and then raising that baby over on Wednesday on what they call a soap slide. And uh, what we've actually we're excited about this too. We're actually partnered up. We've partnered up with uh, Larry Myronchuk and Sons House Movers, and they're going to be uh, working with us uh, to do this and walk us through the process. So, what we're going to be doing is uh, is bringing you a series, just some tidbits of what it's of, of what the process takes to actually uh, do this project. So I would probably think uh, it's going to take about three to four weeks and uh, to run through the whole thing. And, you know, by the time we're done raising the house, and putting it back down, and, uh, taking out the uh, existing foundation, and then driving into wood piles, and, and again uh, putting the, the new burger system in and raising it and lowering the house actually back down on top of that. So. Uh, so well, we're excited to uh, kind of walk you through it as we as we move through and uh, through the process. So stay stay tuned, and uh, we'll keep you informed. Larry Marinchuk and the guys they dropped off all this cribbing. Tremendous timber beams out of white oak. They've also created the pockets right here, which has allowed the steel beams to run through this house east and west to lift it up. The cribbing now is in the crawl space as well, ready to go. So what they're going to do is when that house gets lifted with jacks, the steel goes up and they build this cribbing right to the bottom of that steel right there. We're good to go. Stay with us, folks. See you on the next step. Okay, so as part of the process, um, Larry Myronchuk has installed two 45-foot, uh, very heavy 15.5-inch steel beams um, that are actually running north and south. Uh, those, those beams can actually carry 150 to 175 pounds uh, per foot. Uh, and then running east to west, there's actually seven steel beams, smaller ones that probably run, that can carry anywhere from 50 to 60 pounds per foot. And they actually will, will stack on top of that. And then they hydraulically lift these um, these uh, pieces of steel at 14 particular point loads. And at each point load, there's actually two hydraulic jacks uh, that lift um, all the way around. So all 14 of them uh, simultaneously will lift, um, oh, I would say maybe 8 to 12 inches. Uh, that's the actually width of the cribbing uh, that's installed. And uh, uh, we've, been, we've been actually watching this happen right from the beginning. Um, uh, once the uh, the um, foundation and the, and the house were disengaged, uh, building from the foundation with all the anchor bolts and things like that and all the tie downs, uh, the process became a lot easier to lift. Um, and as they lift it, again, they, they lift it in segments and they'll do one to two cribbings at a time. Um, and now that we have the house up here, um, I would say probably about a foot and a half, it's probably going to go at least two cribbings for each lift. Uh, and, then, and then stop right there and reset it. You can really see now how the house is being held up. Uh, right here with the 6x6 white oak cribbing, which is all staged. Again, they lift this house in two part increments cribbing for each time they lift. So each time they lift, they hold it, they put two pieces of cribbing under it, and they move and they lift again. Um, this is a real good example of what it's supposed to look like. Uh, the cribbing, hydraulic jacks in the middle, main steel beam, and then we have the additional steel beams on top which crisscross, which takes the load of the cribbings. Well this right here clearly is the brainchild for the hydraulic uh, system that actually raised the steel. Uh, there's about 14 ports on this and it allows the uh, hydraulic lifts to go up in the air, raise the steel up, which raises the house. Without this machine right here, there'd be no raise in the house.
So as part of the process, in order to move the house, they actually use ivory soap and soap the boards. You can see what the guys are doing right now. In order for that house to move, there's a tremendous amount of weight on there. So in order to move that, they actually soap the boards. It slides real nice. They do about a foot and a half to two feet out of pole.